Well, you knew Rick James. Oh, I knew Rick James. Well, <laughs> Rick, Rick James is one of the funniest people I ever met in my life. That dude, not just because he's Rick James, Rick James was hilarious. What was the craziest thing you've seen Rick James do? He's just like, I mean, I think he can go, he, he's the type of person I felt like he can go on stage and just be himself and crack everybody the hell up. Because he, he was quick-witted, he was really, really bright. Um, this, is, this is probably something I'm going to regret saying. I think Dave Chappelle killed him. What do you mean? I said it. I said it. From the, the skits? Yeah. It's, I mean, that Dave Chappelle didn't kill him, but, you know, the whole, the, the, newfound, the newfound notoriety did. I, because, I mean, when Rick got out, real right. close friend of Because yeah, Rick was in prison for a while. Mm-hmm. I think for drugs. Yeah. Well, uh, yes, yes, I forget what. I, I, read, I read his book. Mm. I read his autobiography. Mm. It was drugs. Uh, was it uh, domestic violence, maybe? I yeah, it was, some, some it was a bunch thing. of crazy, drugged out Rick James but, type shit. <laughs> but yeah, we had a mutual friend, a guy named Lanny Ross, one of the, just a beautiful person, banker. He personally was like a the exit. What, what do you call it? Like a, um, when someone is just kind of a con, like kind of I forget what the word is. Concert, concert? Concierge? No, not a um, conservator or something like that. Well, he basically. Uh, monitored or just kind of took care of Rick when he got out. Handler? No, nah, it, it's a it's another word like because you know when folks have issues with drugs and what have you, they will. It's something like conservator. It's kind of, okay. Yeah, it's something like that. But Lanny made sure he was handling Rick's affairs and. Rick was um, was really, I mean, Lanny was like kind of big brother to all of us, really. Um, and then Rick got on his feet, he got to the house, house in Chatsworth. Uh, we would chill. We we'd, we'd have a, we had this little thing going on. Rick would have have a pool. You know, he had a pool table, right? And some, you know, this NBA guys and they would come over there and try to bet. Now, I used to be a competitive. Uh, I used to do tournaments. I was in pool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was kind of in back in the day. It was financial aid for me. <laughs> I bet. And so I mean, I was in snooker championships and it, different. And so uh, Rick would like sneak away and secretly call me, and I'd come by the house and act like, oh, oh, you guys playing pool, whatever, <laughs> you know, it was that kind of thing. We just, <laughs> you know, you know, so you know, yeah, there's a few people I can say sorry to right now, but. You know, we, we kind of hooked it up. But yeah, man, but Rick was doing well. He was doing doing the venues, like the the um, House of Blues type of things, those mid-level type of things like that. He was cool, he was healthy. Uh, and then Rick James bitch came out. Well, he was already pretty heavy. He, come, he came out of prison pretty fat. <laughs> No, no, this, but what this, I'm this saying, was not I'm, the Rick James. Ta- yeah, I'm talking the, about the su- super freak. Rick, I'm talking Rick about James. healthy inside. Okay, you know what I mean. I'm just talking about doing the right things. You know, staying sober, that kind of a thing. Okay. And then that skit came, and then Rick was at every red carpet, and you just heard him. I'm Rick James, bitch. Like, oh, there's Rick, and oh man, Rick is. He's partying again, and it's one of those things. You call Lanny, what's up, man? You know, you know, we're trying. You know, BT, who's another friend of ours, and you know, we all pool together and just try to talk about this stuff. And then it's like he just was now, now, the, now his re- relevance was with a younger crowd again. It's like, and so those demons came came back. Oh yeah, no, I read his book mm-hmm. and. He would just basically go into his room, black out all the windows, and like smoke crack for like three days straight. Mm. He was a heavy, heavy drug addict. Yeah, he came back to that because I mean, like I remember I was I was visiting somebody in Oakwood Apartments, and found out Rick had a secret <laughs> a little spot. On yeah, the spot side. near, and that's where he was uh, doing his thing. And uh, yeah, we. That was really close to the end. 
Yeah, but he died at 56. He was, uh, this mm. was 2004. And I that remember was a talented I, dude, man. People, people don't realize that he, he, you know, he was in, um, in Life, the movie with Eddie Murphy. Huh, okay. He was the bad guy. He, he was that good of an actor. This dude was bright. He was, a, he was the, the gangster that was after them. People don't even realize that's Rick James because he, you just think that that is a, that is a professional oh, actor. Spanky Johnson. Yes, that's Rick James. Watch that movie again. Oh shit! You see what I'm talking about? I'm watching it right now. Yeah, you don't even recognize that as Rick James. I, I do, do not you? recognize. This is a regular light skinned dude with with his hair yeah. greased back and yeah, light skinned gangster dude, right? Rick you know, James. Rick? Yeah, man. Wow. Rick was no. I'm My telling head's you, blown Rick, right now. I had no Rick idea. Was sharp. He was man. That dude was super talented. Well, I incidentally, he always he was always talking to me about playing him. He wanted, he <laughs> wanted you to play like, him. He's like, you know, he would talk to me. Yeah, yeah. I was I was yoked up too, man. I was, you know, I was, you know, you know he, hey, show show him the picture of me when I was, you know, like he, like because he was he felt like he had some you know some muscles, muscles and stuff. And I was like, I can't play you, man. Well, I remember I interviewed Charlie Murphy hmm. uh, right around I mean, about two thousand. Because Rick James died in 2004. I think this is shortly after he died, maybe 2008 or something like that. And, uh, you know, I said, oh, you know, it's just sad that he started to get hot again and then he died. And he goes, well, you know, Charlie obviously knew Rick very well. Yeah. He goes, well, I think that's the way Rick would have wanted it. You know, mm. Rick wanted to be back in the, in the limelight again. Yeah, he wanted yeah. he wanted that fame again, and he got it before he passed. If he was just the guy doing House of Blues shows every so often, doing his old hits, it would not have been. I, I don't agree with that because Rick seemed like he was happy when he was doing that. Unless he was he was unless he showed a miserable side some some other yeah, way. I but he, I felt like he was doing well. I felt like he was doing well. He and Tina would do. Do things together, and Tina was also real, real cool. Tina, Turner? Uh, Tina, Tina Marie. Tina Marie. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, he seemed like he was doing well to me.